Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bucharest Minor 2019. This is a grand final game between Team Boom IDM's Clutch Gamers. You are here with me, Cyclops, in the second game of the series, and the current score is Clutch Gamer 1, Team Boom ID 0. First pick Rubik for Clutch Gamer. It might be, it might be Alacrity Rubik meet once again. He played a lot of Rubik mid, and he played it well. I think it's gonna be a Rubik mid again. Ten seconds remaining. But they will just have to hide it until our very last pick. pick. Having a centaur runner once again for, Radiant I believe it's gonna be KYXY hero. Sky Wrath that Skyrod mate Beastmaster is a very good combo, Primal Raw and then dropping a Mystic Plan. Also, Skyrod mate is good against Rubik mid with the Ancient Seal, can shut him down from stealing stuff. Anti-Mage has been banned. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Centaur run. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Let's do some hometown shout out. Radiant Feel free to type it down back. where you're watching this game in the world so I can just do a hometown shout out for you guys. Alright. Phantom Sassine has been banned out. They have to ban out Fovian hero. No matter what it takes. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright guys, the anti-mate, fifth ban from team, Dire team ban. boom ID, what's it gonna be, and it's Juggernaut has been banned out, so many hard carries had been banned one by one. Dire <sighs> team pick. Faces Boy has been banned out. And it's a Lich. So this is obvious that it's gonna be a Rubik mid by Alacrity. Boom ID gotta deal with that. Because uh, Clutch is gonna use a Centaur Runner by KYXY playing as a 4 and Lich as a 5 by Noya. 10 seconds remaining. Now they need post 3 and remaining. post 1 for Team Clutch. Boom ID. Well, it seems like Clutch knows what Boom ID is strong. I think they're trying to ban out uh, Dream of Cell Heroes or Fervian. So many hard carries have been banned. Faces Void, Morphling, the uh, Phantom Sassine. Juggernaut and Antimate. Terror Blade is still there. Tugna. I think it should be a Terror Blade for Clutch Gamers, this one. Terror Blade by Nico Baby. Because if you give Terror Blade to Team Boom ID, that's gonna be disaster. Boom ID already got two pusher, which is Pagna and Beastmaster. You can't give him another pusher. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Slark. Slark. Then it should be a Terror Blade for Team Boom ID. TB by, by Dremosel or Fervian. Slark. 
lock. Ten seconds Guys, uh, I want to five seconds test remaining. out. Getting into the reserve time for Team Boom ID. What's it gonna be? Dire team back. And it's Terror Blade for Team Boom ID, like I mentioned. Uh, Furby and TB. Clutch Gamer knows about that because they, they give away TB to Boom ID themselves. Uh, instead, they get a slock. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Last band. Team this dragon eye has been banned out. A good ban by Team Clutch Gamer because Boom ID obviously they're gonna use as Pugna as a post four. And if they get another dragon eye to lining up their pusher, then it's GG. Ten seconds. Say hard to all the guy from India. From Singapore, Colorado, Serbia, Five Taiwan, UK, remaining. Sydney, uh, Houston, Texas, and Germany, Radiant San Antonio, Texas. Texas, Peru, Malaysia, Istanbul, and anywhere else, New York, okay, Indo, Dota 2, Batrider has been banned out, anywhere else, a lot of Texans, yeah, indeed. What time is it there? It must be like super late at night, alright? Ten seconds. No, it's already in the morning. Have you guys ever slept? <laughs> Five seconds. But anyway, remaining. thanks for staying with us for the whole night. Uh, it is such Dire a great team tournament. Pick. Tiny, surprisingly, it's a tiny for Team Boom ID. Gonna be played as a mid lane tiny? Yeah, it be mid to tiny. Oh, as Outworld Devourer. Oh wow, Skylarker. This is this is so surprise. Last pick Outworld Devourer. So it will be OD mid with Skylark playing Core Centaur Run. KYXY Rubik. Nickel Baby on Slark, baby. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are in 
the game, you can do some uh, quick adjust or something. And here. Very hard for the guys in the chat room, a lot of people have been paid. And the um, boom ID on the radiant side, uh, but before uh, I gotta give you some interesting fact, is boom ID is the one who get the first priority and they choose to be on the radiant side. Uh, they believe that radiance are much better than uh, for them. So they are now in the radiant side. Keskill on Skyrod, Mikoto on Tiny, FBC on Beastmaster, Fervian, Terra Blight, uh, Dokkam <laughs> on the partner for Team uh, Clutch Gamers on Dire Side, Noya on Lich, the uh, Alacrity on Outward Devour, Nico Baby on Slark, KYX1 Rubik, Skylark by Centaur Varan. The battle begins. And it's two body rules for each team. Mid lane is going to be a tiny by Mikoto versus Alacrity. Uh, I think the most important thing for Team Clutch Gamers right now is to keep their nerve, keep calm. Because uh, when you are ahead one game in the best of those series, you tend to make more mistakes because you want to end 2-0. You just have to accept the fact that it might be 2-1. However, you know, just, just be calm. That's the only thing that I ask. Why why? This blade rings true while sharp tongues lie. Alacrity. Spamming the Astro imprisonment just to last hit the creeps. Top lane is Terror Blade and Sky Rock mate together. Against Skylark on Centaur Varan. And KYXY Rubik Nickel Baby He's gonna back spam his raid ban soon. Kodo doing quite good job against the Outworld Devourer. Got 9 last hit and 49, wow. Level 3 while well, Alacrity. Haven't get this 3 yet. Astro Imprisonment. Last hitting the creeps. Nice one. Back to the bottom lane, might be a first big fight. Noya is harassing with a frost blast. One good thing of Dokem in the lane is his very fast movement speed and he's yeah two mango catching up the last hit for the outworld devourer electricity His performance is getting better and better for Lacrity since he joined the uh, Clutch Gamers. I saw him play since King's Men Tournament. I'm sorry, King's Cup. Frostbars already going straight for FBC. Dropping quite low, jumping on him. Slack, you cannot run away from the pals. And that's gonna be the first blood for Nico Baby. The guy who carried the game last game now gets the first blood. A great start once again for the Clutch Gamers. Clutch tend to have a very good laning phase today.
if Clutch Gamer win this game and win a ticket to go to the um, Bucharest Minor, it's gonna be like miracle. They won six game in a row in one day against uh, all the strong team in Southeast Asia. How? How low is that chance to happen? I mean, they only have like five percent to 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 make that thing happen. But they are here. And they are leading. Just need one more game for Clutch Gamers. They are disconnected. Go XD. Don't type XD in the chat. If you type down XD, I'll shut Start down out. the stream. Uh. Shall honor your name. I can't hear you. I can't hear Stay you. Frosty. Frosty. I shall honor your name. Playing on Skylark. Alacrity. Frostblast already. Might get jumped on by the uh, Nicole Baby once again. Getting some hints. Leading on the last hit is all of Team Boom ID carries. TB played two last hit. Nicole. Interesting, we call the wind for raid band to increase his attack speed instead of the um brazer. Nickel baby. Okay, why X Y? Little two of the faithful haven't had any arcane supremacy yet. Very passive That's game. Mm, but I kind of worry about Team Boom idea that they let the uh, slag farming a lot. Twenty two last hit so far. Out for Devar. FPC to Marvel. Frostbite, everything on him. Bar. Mm. 
Radiance middle tower only one kill no ya yeah. doing very good job baby sitting nickel baby on top and somebody teleport down looking to do something it's kyxy let's take a look at the visions I don't think they see KYXY jumping on him. Uh, FBC getting gone on uh, by the Nico Baby. Telekinesis is back. Uh, fall back, getting body blocked by the Nico Baby as well. That might be his second kill. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, might go in for more. Just getting harassed uh, by Jokum. Playing with full confidence, Nico Baby having a good early game once again. And that's in the network. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. FBC Tamago. Tamago. Frostbar slow. KYXY waiting for the telekinesis. But the damage dealer is not around. Now, North Ice is trying to get away with the frost shield. Uh, now it's actually draw Mikordo to the bottom lane as well. But Alacrity also follow up on him. Uh, Alacrity, Nico Baby, Baby is in front. Uh, tanking all the damage and jumping on that Joe Camera. Joking around, he got two or three line. Uh, it's gonna be Lich instead who goes out first. Uh, KYXY, they all go into the side shop. Uh, MBC, C level 5, no primal roar. Primal Lance comes out to slow down with concussive shot as well. The stampede and KYXY got away. Clutch Gamer already lost one. Space created on top lane for Centaur Waran to free farm around here. Invisibility. Alacrity. Very good game sense, you know, the fact that he just keep he, he see Tiny disappear in the middle lane, so he knows that Tiny just gonna go back to, uh, I'm sorry, go to get Radiant's bottom lane, so he follow him up attack. and just help his teammate that not getting outnumbered, prevent the gank uh, from Team Boom ID. That was great play by Alacrity. Radiant's bottom tower Smart is maneuver. Under attack. To the bottom lane, Slark level 6. Got a very good farm. Leading in terms of network. If he has the highest network Radiance like this for Slark, once he got the turtle blade, all the supporters cannot stay in the map. They will all. Oh no. <laughs> Why do you. That's easy 50 gold. You just put the hawk in the side of the uh, tower. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Okay, why is why got a chance? Now he flip it, teleport to top lane along Radiance with the lich, become three attack. on top. And team boom ID did knows about that. They start it all off. And he slow down stampede and trying to catch FBC. Oh, Primal Raw before he drop a hoop storm. That might help us a little bit, but look at that. Alacrity joining the team fight and get an easy kill on him. Three kills. Meanwhile, Nico Baby can easily jump on Makoto. 1.4k gold in his pocket, getting closer and closer to the uh, top lane. Normally, when you pick a slug in this 7.20 patch in the past matches in this uh, Bucharest Miner, slug always have a rough start and they always come back in late game. But in this case, slug have a good start. I can't imagine what's gonna be in mid and late game. Because the heroes are so Dyer's OP. The change to the reverse of the leech is just ridiculous. You can't run away from the pals anymore, no matter who you are. No matter if you are the Pablo Escobar, you still cannot get away from that. No matter how much money you got and you're trying to bribe, but Slark won't let you go.
Nickel baby. Avalanche, and he's just gonna jump away with the piles. Top lane Skylark is gonna push in. One to four game score right now. Game looking pretty okay for Clutch Gamer, even though the network doesn't seem to be that big diff. Skylark. Now Skylark is catching somebody on the bottom lane now. He might erase the wrong guy, it's Mikoto, he's quite tanky, he got 1.6k gold, I'm sorry, KHP. It, and it's not that easy to take him down, plus he got a blink dagger, so it's kind of waste gank for Clutch Gamer. Unless he's just gonna take down his tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Nicole Baby stays in front. Avalanche uh, throwing. throwing the creeps away on him. Top tower is under attack. Oh, sorry. But they are doing a fake beat, they're still hanging around. Skylark dropping quite low. Dyer's top tower has fallen. KY is under attack. Top lane that goes on this guy. I like this is back along with the faithful. The core baby is on killing spree. It seems like Slug is already online. He's just gonna snowball after. His next item is gonna be Echo Saber. Sticking around in the middle lane for Team Boom ID. Goes in Avalanche trying to throw back. But the Chain Frost already comes out along with the Primal Roar. Nice throw. Nice Primal Roar. But it's just not enough to kill that Alacrity. Trying to walk back uh, to the high ground. He's going to be fine with the Frost Shield now. Instead, it's Mikoto that's getting chased down right here. Nico Baby entering the scene now. This is getting very, very ugly for Team Boom ID. Going straight to the try now. Turn on the try. Throw away. Get off me. Don't jump. Jumping on you once again for Nico Baby. Mikoto getting some HP back. But you can't run away from the slot. Next one going to be a Pugna. Clay Chris is back. Uh, using the last time, using the Nether Blast, uh, not gonna help it. A stampede finally come out for the Central Runner to leaving the scene safely. The FBC gonna be the next one. Uh, Cassio dropping a Mystic Floor. It's FBC, and now the, the cut just can't stop Slark from moving forward. It's gonna be a Slark killed. Uh, one to eight game scores already. The game might end too soon. It is boom ideal. Won't improve that gameplay. Oh my. It just what will take care of this thing, right? Wow. Radiance top tower is under attack. Wait, let me see. Okay. Like I mentioned during the early game, that slack <laughs> as you all see, I I told you guys that they always um, so many teams trying to shut down Slark by uh, make him having a hard early game. But he still has a high win rate in mid and late game. Just make one mistake in front of Slark, uh, skip him one double kill. He can't come back in the game because he's that strong in 7.20D patch. He, he is one of the strongest heroes. Come from behind. And it's just gonna push inside and try to take down the mid tower. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Boom, going straight on top Radiance here too. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Dire structures are fortified. Try to take down. Nico Baby, nice start with the hoop stomp, but he actually missed that one. They all stay primal raw to start the fight and also the um, uh, Ancient Seal in order to shut down uh, at Outworld Devira. However, Slark is on the front line already, released the chain frost, uh, dropping quite low for Boom ID. One down, two down, two bounce, uh, two down. Uh, 
and it's Skylark uh, ready to go for another retaliate attack. Uh, Hoofstorm double H, uh, three down for Team Boom, ID rest arrest. Inside the tree line, just got away safely. Stay frosty. Maybe another kill in the middle. And another call 2 to 12 games for Clutch Gamers. It's one step away from Romania. If talking about Romania, you will uh, think about the uh, Count Dracu, you know, the, uh, one of the most important warlords in the uh, mid Middle Age. Well, we're not talking about the, all the legends and the, uh, all that stuff. I don't think it's actually true, but I think the truth is he's, he's one of the great warriors in the Middle Age. Maybe just attack. a little, you know, weird style. Having a weird way to enjoy the fashion. That's all. To, to just one step away. I never been to Romania. I would love to go once. Um, people saying that the Eastern Europe are the great countries to visit. I think it's kind of true. It's kind of romantic. It would be great if you get to go there with your girlfriend. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. KYXY Avalanche Torch. Uh, KYXY stealing the Avalanche and trying to run away with that. No, he actually got a toss. Now it's Fobian who brought him down. Mikoto, here comes the Chain Frost. Watch out the bounce. Skylark running away. Avalanche just hits all of them. But the core heroes are down too easy. Now Deco Baby going straight for the real one of the terrible eight. Uh, start tagging on him and he still can do the thunder though. His thunder, his teammates on the high ground. I don't yeah, maybe because the um, Nico ba Baby is on the Shadow Dances now. It was a good thunder for Vervian. And a good decision making by Slark to attack on the TB with the... Uh, it's called the Shadow Dance. Nico Baby. Scanning. On top, let's take a look at the uh, how TB farming. He just got his meta style. It's not that he doesn't have a chance in this game. It's just you know need to do so many things. First, they need a proper initiation. Mikoto and also Beastmaster doesn't do any impact when it comes to engaging. They have Radiant to find the right target to go in and just finish them all off real quick it's called baby radiance top tower is under attack I was about to take out a top tower and yeah, that's gonna be a tower Dyer's at the same time joke I'm trying to um, get the tower back, but it might be the big fight breaks out once again. Jokam once again, he get gone down by Skylark, and might be an easy deal. He uses the creepy fire on himself, dropping a mystic flare. This time he hits it. It's KY's life falls down. Skylark, however, finish off that Jokam in order to return that. Nico Baby just gonna get away with each other dance. He's dropping quite low. He need regen a little bit. It's two down for Team Boom ID and one for Clutch Gamers. We need to go back to the shrine. No shrine. What a fat slark he is. He's on the way to a Lincoln Sphere. Dyer's middle tower and he's has about fallen. to get it. No, yeah. 
Do you know that the uh, Clutch Gamer Team house is not so far away from where I live in Bangkok, Thailand? Feeling like going visit them sometimes. See how it goes. Skylark jumping on him. Hoof Storm sorry comes out with a double edge. Uh, he's being thrown away by the Mikoto. The race of Team Boom ID moving up to the top lane, getting ready for the big fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is much more entertaining than the previous game. Skylark uh, getting into a tree line. Uh, where is Lark? Lark entering the scene, uh, seeing the supports already. Skylark almost goes down. Uh, that's a core hero dropping a Mystic Flare. He's gonna be fine. Uh, I'm not sure how, but he's still there. He turned on the pipe. I think, no, he got a um, Hood of Defiance. And it seems like Clutch Gamer decided not to go in, not to commit. Nico Bailey. It's the grand finals. Type down in the chat if you want the, the best of three series to end with 2 0 and the and Clutch Gamer sweep them here. Or you want it to end with three games and we could go for the last game for grand finals. Type 2. Dump in for the Rubik Avalanche and Toss. Uh, here we go, Chain Frost comes out, the FPC might have to get away from that. Uh, I feel like Boom ID in this team by being ripped apart by Team Clutch Gamers. Uh, now finally standing toe to toe fight, Nico Baby attacking on, oh no! It's actually a cheese come sound, uh, but it can't do any damage to the uh, Slark at all. Astro and Prison Cement, very nice save, uh, coming back for the Terror Blade, he already spent his ages, now he's gonna run away. Or do the Thunder as well, they're jumping in, uh, stuck in the lead, you can't get away from that one! Uh, how just gonna keep you down? And they lost Terror Blade. They got the ages for Boom ID, but they spent it right away. Just like me and my Serari. Every month. In at the uh, third day. Skylark. 5 to 16 game score, 4k ahead for Team Clutch Gamer. I'm gonna show you guys the item updates. Take a look by yourself. Mm. They are catching up. Talekmis is back. That's no. easy kill by Team Clutch Gamers. I didn't expect that to happen though. Skylark. Getting stronger and stronger. To the top lane they go. Take a look at Terra Blade and trying to get a Black King bar so he can do a safe descender. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Clutch gamers. They are trying to find a sponsor for the team. So, if you are watching this game and interested in Dota 2 team, feel free to contact them. Centaur Run. I mean, as a team owner, if you don't have any sponsor at all, man, it will be such a hard job as you have to pay the uh, payroll. Lich, Clash Gamer getting much, much better. Becoming a top team in C at the moment. I think that play style is kind of suit the patch. 7.2OD But who knows Tomorrow Dyer's there might be 7.21 coming up <laughs> And change a lot of things So many things has been changed in Dyer's like BZD Still come on top Skylark is gonna go in hard to catch for the Skylark. Now it's come down to the mid-game transition. Clutch Gamer doing very good today. They are on the run. They won five games in a row. And 
they are looking very good. Oh, I'm sorry. Just when we talk about it. Noya falls at the bottom lane. He's trying to push the creep wave deep. But then uh, Tomaco just jumped on him. KYXY in the middle. And Alacrity. Okay. They are grouping up at the bottom lane, a whole team smoke. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, the way to win a team fight is just need to get the key hero first. I think in this case, it, it should be Rubik. Just kill the Rubik first because the uh, arcane supremacy is just too much in team fight. Uh, it makes a lot of visible spells longer. Because now we need to kill that Noya and take a look at his big team fight around here. Here comes the Stampede charging on him. Skyrod may dive it out, dropping any single spell and sensing Eclipse almost kill all of them. Still on the black team bar, but can't stand the physical damage of that terrible blade that Phobie and finish him all off. Bought back right away. It's Skyrod man trying to join back the team fight that Nico Baby for a call his teammate here. Fall back just a little bit, man. I kind of fight around that. Because uh, Alvo Devaro doesn't have a buyback uh, and they lost the Centaur Runner. This is not really good because Clutch Camer lost the fight right in front of that base. That's a chance. Team Boom ID to just go high ground and try to take the bottom tree tree how tower. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And five heroes Dyer's going straight to the tower. They have attack. Nether Blast. Lich trying to use the frost shields on the tower. They Dyer's still have the glyphs, I think. Fallen. Here comes the glyphs. Skylark bought back the Force him to fall back, uh, Nico baby. Alright, uh, go for that. Nice catching on Jokem. <laughs> I told you, 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 you mess with the wrong guy, you cannot, you don't bribe Slark, Slark bribe you. Nobody can run away, run away from the leash these days. I don't like it because back then, when you gotta fight Slark, you just pick a Storm Spirit. <laughs> you, Slark jump on you, just lightning bolt away. Then <laughs> nobody play a Slark back then. They're trying to devour. And Slark had a stuck over there. That's not a good position. Pulse out, then he doesn't have anything Radiant's to pulse in. They might attack. have to wait for the cooldown for the power first for that Nico baby. Trying to catch Centaur around. Jumping in, but jumping out right away for Jokum. This is a map control of Team Boom ID. They're trying to send some illusions of Terror Blade to push on top. This is a map control of Team Clutch Gamer. As you can see, they don't have any visions over there, so they decided to leave. Skylock. 9 to 19 game score and Terror Blade just disconnected from the game, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to show you guys the item and levels update.
back to the game, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. 2K I hate. It used to be far, far ahead for Hot Gamer. Now it's becoming a close game already. Yes, Terror Blade now spring back to be the leader in terms of network. Fervian or Dremachol. Be honest, if you ask me, I think we might get to see like game three. <laughs> I don't know, man. It feels like it. Really? Slack. Coming in quite fast, trying to find some guys. Jumping on the Slack, catching the Skyrock man real quick. Got like already for it, Nico Baby. He gained like plus 12 uh, permanent agility. 3 excellent shift. 0 0.61 second per attack for Slark and they just go straight into a Roshan pit. I don't think Boom ID can fight with only 4 guys. That's a hawk over there. Catching up this Mikoto. Nice catch. <laughs> they don't want to go for uh, the Roshan. Oh, they do? Invisibility. Now it's Nico Baby with 4k. I hate uh, some action happens around here. The defender was down uh, by FBC. That was quite fast. Jumping in by KYXY trying to catch. Uh, this is a good opportunity for Boom ID to go into the Roshan hit and steal it themselves uh, while Team uh, Clutch Gamer are busy uh, defending the bottom lane. Uh, space created and FBC killing spree broken. But look at this one. Skylark Rushing into the Roshan pit uh, Bought back of FBC Now at this point Class Gamer knows that they are doing the Roshan Because uh, there is a buyback uh, Skylark dropping up HP is already jumping in With Avalanche uh, copy paste Reno from KYXY Also the Telekinesis is some jumping on the Black King bar status uh, That would be a dieback if FBC goes out once again uh, Bot back, uh, going straight on him. It seems like uh, Slark gonna find a target. Uh, the uh, Roshan about to go down, dropping a missing player who's gonna get it. And it's Tamago FBC who snapped the Aegis and he spent it right away. Turn on the Black King bar and Furby and shooting everyone. It seems to be a 1 5 for Team Boom ID on this one. Where's Slark? It was a buyback. They saved the fight. Uh, <laughs> and the Beastmaster got the Aegis. Instead of the Terror Blade, but at least Terror Blade still got the cheese. But what I worry is, Slark is about to max his slot and max the level. Because at this point, if you cannot fight that Terror Blade that's still level 19, toe to toe, then one Terror Blade that gets this level 25, uh, just don't talk about it, man. Super late game, so hard for you to tie, fight him. I, I was then all runs. A very nice utility items going for the uh, Heaven Albert in order to disarm that pearl mm. blight. Blacking bar charge down for only eight seconds. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Bottom lane slack. I think he will go for plus eighty second SN chip duration. Mm. 
ascent shift now. Oh, 200 attribute uh, attribute decreased. Attacking on Skyrod mid and Noya just finish him off. It's Kes killed once again that missed position. Somebody need to go back and defense top. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Still works every time for Boom ID tactic. Yeah, every time that they seem to get team uh, clutch game uh, penetrate their middle lane, they send the illusions of Terror Blade to the top lane and push the creep waves. And every time the clutch game will have to go back oh and defend, yes. slow them down a lot, giving some time for Terror Blade to farm up. Look at the items. They the last Terror Blade. Stomp and double edge on the Necro no Nomicon Warriors. Bottom lane, Terra Blade Illusions pushing. Slark. Pushing in the middle. And it's Skylark. Refraction already comes out on Skylark. It's gonna be fine. He activates his Crimson Guard. Nico Baby try to find the fact that the angle goes in. Uh, by the real one, sorry. Release the chain strong and see the real PB. But Nico Baby goes straight to the support first and uh, turn on the core sector. Buying some time for him dropping a Mystic Flare. Nico Baby being forced to use the Black King Bar in order to be safe from all the spell from the Skyrod Mage. The race of Team Boom ID have to retreat. But I don't think this is a good initiation from Clutch Gamer. They should have get more. I think I think it would be great if he, he just goes straight to the um, Terra Blade. But he just walk past Terra Blade and go straight for the support first. And get kited by Skyrod Mage. Uh, it wasn't a ghost scepter, it was the Crepefine used by Puckner. Illusion. Good play by Jokum. Back in him, scepter. 1.4k gold in his pocket. Clutch Gamer still in control in this game. 38 min so far, I'm sorry. Yeah, 38, 39 min so far. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Hmm. Are you ready for the big team fight on top lane? Concussive shot, sorry, comes up on, on Nico Baby. Fervian. What a game here, full of tactic and patience. Slark. He's jumping in and here come the boost on, but he being silent by the concussive the, uh, shot and also the engine seal. Skylark forced up himself away. Meanwhile, Mikoto trying to um, chase the support away uh, from the uh, spell zone. Here we go, top dropping um, the Black King bar and still no Sentry Eclipse coming out from Alacrity. Where is Slark? Slark is around here in the middle of the team fight, jumping away with the Dark Pact. <laughs> Try to get away from all the spells. The two supports on Team Clutch Gamers already falls down. It seems to be a one fight for Team Boom ID on this one. Not an attempt to go into a team fight. It's a failed attempt. Still got a chance for Team Boom ID to win on this, definitely. 
And he already maxed this oh. item. Oh, that's nice. Should be an, a chart on the next Dyer's one. Middle tower has fallen. Old chart. Baby coming out. Dropping a Mystic Flare, half HP, which is gonna be fine. It seems like the TB illusion is the big problem. They have to kill the illusions quick. Maybe eating up the moon shot. But he also needs to save for the buyback status. This is a buyback status. And they are putting up in the uh, Roshan hit one to hit. Nice initiation and goes in Hamlin Torch uh, into the whole team of Team Boom ID. But however, can Tiny get away from that? He turns the black team bar and hit for two times. Now here comes the Stampede. Uh, waiting for the new round. Still no metamorphosis for the Terror Blade. It's gonna be quite hard for him. They want to commit this one because uh, Clutch Gamer knows that TB doesn't have a metamorphosis. But look at the critical damage coming out from TB. Dyer are scanning. Now he got it, uh, goes in, aiming for the TB. Can he finish that TB or before he goes for the Thunder? Thunder, hear the Thunder! Lightning and the Thunder and TB turn on the Black King by killing everyone in front of fighting toe to toe against TB. Nico Baby falling back uh, and he's just gonna finish everyone in front of him. Terror Blade is doing it. Uh, Skylark drops, killing Spree. And three down between Clutch Gamers. This might be the disaster. The beginning of the end of this game of Team Clutch Gamers. Like I said, I mentioned about the um, slot already maxes level in slot. So he now moving around with. 321 movement speed, which is quite. But when he's on the shadow dance regen, he's just gonna gain some movement speed back. But still, he's not the match of Terror Blade when it comes to toe to toe fighting. Fervian. No metamorphosis. Clash Gamer need to commit on this one. Uh, Aiming for the tiny, telekinesis back, stop him. Uh, that's such a long visual spell. Uh, turn the black team bar, stampede. Uh, whoever got low, just go back to the high ground first. Uh, who can fight, just go back to the front line. Uh, Alacrity, Astro, Prism, and himself. Uh, TB moving forward, he still have an agent. Uh, the Fervian uh, being thrown inside. Uh, if they lose his team fight, here comes the Thunder. Nico Baby, can he fight the TB? We'll see. No, he cannot fight the TB at all. He jumped away and decided to give the Pyrax uh, to Team Boom ID. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. No way, Terror Blade with the Aegis. Just gonna destroy everything. Uh, Nico Baby, straight now he found the real win. Can he finish him off? Uh, Thunder, no more. Now he's just gonna come back to HP full mana. The rest of Team and uh, Clash Gamer need to force out the rest of Team Boom ID. So it can be a double team on the uh, TB. Start attacking on the TB. Force out himself now. Turn the Black King bar. Do another Thunder. And it's Skylark who's dropping low. Primal Roar comes out. Nice save with the Astro Imprisonment by Alacrity. The game might reset once again. Uh, nobody dies yet. Jumped in. Hoopstorm uh, right clicking on Cash Killed. Uh, it turns out Cash Killed first one to fall down. Force out himself from the life drain. Uh, nice defense by Clutch Gamer. One more time. Oh no. Oh yeah, Joel Camp just sacrificed himself. 
<laughs> That's Kamikaze. Goes in, use the spells, kill the Barax, and just die. Yeah, good idea. Got on the high ground. They know that there's no partner. And Skyrod Mage, they, they want to contest on this. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Terra Blight, it's Radiance deep inside at level 23, called. getting closer and closer to 25. It's 25, it's gonna go for plus 300 minimal forces attack range patrol. In state of 35 seconds under cooldown. Cordo also maxes levels. 3.1k go with 40 armor for Mikoro. Radiant are scanning. Slack. Mikko baby. Slack show. On the way to the eye of Skardai. Oh, he's got the eye. He might Dyer's replace it with the Echo Saber, I think. Attack. You think? But look at this one first. It's Clutch Game and lose this fight, then better call GT and go for the next game. Catching that Noya! Noya! Noya with the frost shield! He's still running away, almost being found by the Boom ID crew. Hold up. Regeneration. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Skylar. They're all just gonna defend on top lane. Boom ID. Trying to take out his tower. Dyer's Gone real quick. Uh, it's just gonna be a quick fire axe right here. They need to defend. Uh, BKB is on uh, for the Terror Blade. He haven't 25 yet. Uh, Nico Baby cannot just break through. Here we go. The stampede. But seems like Boom ID already got what they need. Getting closer and closer to the final game for Team Boom ID. The only thing that can make Boom ID lose at this stage is that Terror Blade die without a buyback. <laughs> Which is not gonna happen as he has like 10k gold into his pocket. Fervian. Killed. Seriously, this is might be eight games in a row for me today. <laughs> if almost one hour is already Dyer in this game scanning. for clutch gamers, Dyer's going strike inside that uh, being ancient sealed. Uh, now he's the uh, moving target for the central run. Uh, Avalon taught everything for central run. How uh, he's dead. Where is he? Astron Prismant, he's just gonna hop back uh, just to get slashed one more time by the Boom ID. Can he buy back? I don't think so. Die for 100 seconds. Uh, a godlike already for Nico Baby. Somebody kills him, but you can't fight that Furby and he's running away now, getting body blocked by that dear FBC. No Centaur run. Pop the Black King by in order to get away. He's trying to pounce. Uh, Nico Baby, Nico Baby. He's dead now. Furby and dominating. Bought back right away. The first fight ended. Dyer's bottom oh, shrine man. is under attack. And they don't have that outward devourer for 100 seconds. 
This is a chance for Team Boom ID to push Dance, in. This might be the first point. game today that Clutch Game has dropped. Gonna get that Nico baby. Dropping down on the tower, start attack on the barracks, and the only thing if Clutch Gamer could do now is nothing. Straight to the throne. And that should be it for the uh, second game in the series. We are going to game number three. That's it, Sin. GG has been called. Uh, we are going to the final game to determine which team will be our Southeast Asia representative. We're going to take a break for five minutes and we'll be right back.